Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1983 Detroit Tigers season replay. Today's matchup is between the Detroit Tigers and the Minnesota Twins at the Hubert H. Humphrey Metrodome. On the mound for the Tigers today is Jack Morris, whose record is 16-9 with a 4.16 ERA. And pitching for the Twins today is Chuck Rainey, whose record is 11-15 with a 5.38 ERA. And as you can see here, with yesterday's big victory over the Twinkies, uh, we are now four games back with 15 games to go. That's including today's game. And so we are in a sweet spot right now. We certainly have an opportunity uh, to make this close. I feel like the game just has it built within it that coming down the final week of the season, we're going to be within a game of, uh, you know, tying it up with the Yankees. That's kind of what happened last year uh, in our 82 sim, where it came down to a one-game playoff with New York, uh, in which Lance Parrish hit the walk-off grand slam to send us to the playoffs. Uh, subsequently, we lost to Seattle here. Um, so, you know, I, I feel like we're going to be there. I think the game is going to force us into that position where we're going to be just uh, like a game back uh, coming into the final week. So that means we have to take care of business today as we face the Twins in game two of this four-game series. Let's go ahead and get today's game started. As always, I appreciate everyone following along, like, and or subscribe to the channel. We have got our first game for the 1980 Detroit Lions alternate history season. Uh, that game will be played tomorrow. And uh, there's still time to get in on the contest where you can win a Billy Sims uh, autograph and jersey relic card. Um, at the end of this video, uh, there'll be a video in this little box right about here where you can click on it and uh, get involved in that contest. Okay, here is uh, Jack Morris. This is the guy you want on the mound today. It's our ace, uh, Jack Morris. Current Twins lineup is batting 324 against him, 77 plate appearances. So that's not just uh, a few at bats there. That's 77. Uh, we did. Oh, I should mention this. Yes, I did switch to a four-man rotation for the rest of the season. And so, as you see down here, uh, Danny Jackson listed as tired because he started yesterday's game and got the win. Pitched really, really well. Um, so yeah, four-man rotation the rest of the way out. And here is our lineup versus Chuck Rainey. Uh, this is all of our main starters. Sweet Lou already listed as tired once again. Everybody else is healthy. And uh, we have a day off in three days. So we're going to push Whitaker on through, although he has been struggling lately. Okay, let's do the official Tigers lineup rundown. Batting leadoff. Playing second base is Sweet Lou Whitaker. Batting second at first base is Greg Brock. Batting third at third base is George Brett. Batting cleanup and DHing is Mickey Hatcher. Batting fifth in left field is Kirk Gibson. Batting sixth in right field is Glenn Wilson. Batting seventh and catching is Terry Kennedy. Batting eighth at shortstop is Alan Trammell. And batting ninth in center field is Eddie Miller. Okay, let's take a look at Chuck Rainey of the Twins. Coming over from, from Boston in 1981, you can see uh, he has been a mediocre pitcher for them. He's making his 30th start this season. He's 11 and 15. So he does have a career high in wins this year. 11 and 15 with that 538 ERA. Whoa. 120 walks to 86 strikeouts. That is never a good thing. Opponents are batting 261 against him. He has four complete games. Fastball tops out at 88 miles an hour. Ground ball percentage is 44.8%. Fastball is rated an 83. That's the only pitch above average. And he is rated a 79 overall. The 29-year-old righty does go to arbitration at the end of the year. Um, let's take a look at the 
Twins defense in center field today. They have someone named Norwood who doesn't look like much of a center fielder. He's making his season debut. They have Mike Anderson at first base and their third baseman is the is Dave Roberts. Okay, I thought it was Dave Engel. All right, so yeah, this is not the best defense. And uh, they made three errors in yesterday's ball game, so maybe we can force them into a couple more defensive errors. Here is Sweet Lou leading off against Chuck Rainey. Whitaker popping it up at home plate. There's one down. Next man up, Greg Brock. He's one for three in his career versus Chuck Rainey. And he walks. Something that Rainey obviously does very often. We have Brock on first. Here is George Brett. Brett just crushing it. Batting 337 versus right-handers. We're going to let him take a cut. I'm not even worried about the double play. And then he hits into a double play. We go to the bottom of the first. Let's take a look at the Twins lineup rundown for today's ballgame. Batting leadoff, playing second base, is Kurt Siebert. Batting second in right field is Hoskin Powell. Batting third in DHing is Jim Eisenreich. Batting cleanup in left field is Gary Renicky. Batting fifth in catching is Dave Engel. Batting sixth at third base is Dave Roberts. Batting seventh at first base is Mike Anderson. Batting eighth in center field is Willie Norwood. And batting ninth, playing shortstop is Mike Fishlin. So a much different lineup than yesterday's ball game. Let's take a look at Jack Morris. Jack making his 31st start. He's 16 and 9 with a 4.16 ERA. 143 Ks this year in 205 and the third innings pitched. Opponents are batting 252. Four complete games, three shutouts. You pretty much know the rest already. Uh, overall rated an 88. The 28-year-old righty goes to free agency next year. Oops, taking a look at his log. Uh, he's coming off a loss to Seattle, where he went seven and two-third innings, giving up three runs on six hits. He did have, give up two home runs. He's given up 20. How many has he given up this year in total? 25 home runs, a new career high, tying a career high in home runs. Um, I feel like he sort of lost some, some some momentum along the way here. Um, he has, definitely has an opportunity to get a career high in wins this year uh, with some of these uh, below 500 opponents down the stretch. But we need him to get us a good seven solid innings today and keep us in the ball game at the very least. Here's Kurt Siebert leading off against Jack Morris. Siebert walks. Come on, Morris. That was a nine pitch at bat for Siebert, and he's got some good speed. Here's Hoskin Powell. And he walks. Okay, wow. There, I mean, I immediately feel like we should pull Morris from the ballgame. There is nothing that he's going to be able to do right today. We'll pull the outfield in because it is Jim Eisenreich. He's got some pop, but not much. Trying to prevent Siebert from scoring. Nope, he's going to score anyway. It's one nothing, just like that. Two walks and a hit. And... I have a terrible, terrible feeling. We're going to guard the Lions here. Maybe get a double play with Gary Renicky. He sends it into left center field. Miller making the catch. Powell will not tag up. Not deep enough. Here's the catcher, Dave Engel. We saw Sal Butera yesterday. Wow, Engel's got 20 home runs on this team. Slugging 520 versus right-handers. We're going to play straight away. Line drive to short. Can we double somebody up? Yes, we do. We double Powell off second base. That could have gone so much worse. We limit the damage to one run. Go to the top of the second. one nothing, Minnesota. Here is Mickey Hatcher. It's Hatcher, Gibby, and Wilson do up. Hatcher, despite his uh, overall rating dropping to 75, kind of cruising along right now, though he grounds the second here. There's one out. 
Here is Gibby. Gibby, fly ball into right center field. Caught by the right fielder, Powell. Two down now for Glenn Wilson, and Wilson strikes out looking wild. Tigers hitless or two. We go to the bottom of the second inning with Dave Roberts leading off. Roberts clobbers it to left field. Gibby making the catch, one down. Here's Mike Anderson. We're going to start at first base today instead of uh, Cecil Fielder. Batting 0.95 on the year, and he strikes out. There's the first K for Morris. And also, Willie Norwood making his season debut. One for three in his career against Morris, though, with two Ks. And he flips it to left where Gibby makes the catch. So nice one, two, three inning for Morris. Good bounce back inning. We go to the top of the third with Terry Kennedy leading off. Kennedy in there today as Parrish had went four for five yesterday with two home runs versus the left-hander. Here Kennedy walks. So leadoff man is on. Now we will hit and run. Stay out of the double play. Trammell had the day off yesterday. Round ball to second. Kennedy moves into scoring position for Eddie Miller. Miller getting a lot of playing time as he has shown to be the better hitter at the moment and definitely better defensively than Kevin Bass. Miller flips it to left. That will be an easy out as Renicky makes the catch. Kennedy holds it second. Two down for Sweet Lou. Here's Lou. And Rainey, third walk today. As Whitaker on first, Kennedy on second, and the Brockness monster up. We need one big hit here. And Greg Brock's the man to do it. Yes, there we go, down the left field line. Do we want to send another runner home? We do not. Wait. Oh my gosh. Kennedy's not going to score. Oh, that is total crap. Brock does get the first hit for the Tigers. It's only 160 feet, and um, with two outs, you'd think anyone would just about score from second. Instead, everyone just moves up a bag for George Brett. Brett, he's a guy you want in this position. He's betting 336 versus right-handers. And Brett grounds out to third. Well, that is about, about the worst sign you can get if you have your uh, best hitter up with the bases loaded and you can't score. We go to the bottom of the third inning. Here is Mike Fishlin. Fishlin's got a home run in his career versus Morris, which is notable since he doesn't have too many overall. That is, is Morris's second K as he gets Fishlin swinging on, uh, at the splitter. One out. Here's Kurt Siebert. He walked the lead off the ball game. Later scored. Grounding out to second. Two quick outs for Morris. Next man up is Hoskin Powell. And Powell skies it to right center field. Play is made. Out number three. We're going to the top of the fourth inning. Game is moving along. Here is Mickey Hatcher leading off against Rainey. He's 0 for 1 today. And a base hit up the middle. Leadoff man is on. We're getting runners on base thanks to the walks. We just can't seem to do anything with it. We're going to let Gibby take a cut. Sooner or later, we're going to break through against Rainey. There's no way he's throwing a shutout against us. There's a base hit down the left field line. All the way to the corner. And this time, Hatcher scores from first. He was hustling as Gibby ties up the ball game on his 13th double this season. Does it feel like Gibson is having as good of a year, but his OPS is a career high, 785. That was his 61th, 61th. <laughs> 61th 
What? 61st of the, of the season. Oh, man, just when you think I can't get any dumber. Oh, there's another base at the left. Who's in left field? Is it Redicky, right? What is his arm? His arm is a 74. You're telling me Kennedy... I, okay, if you tell me Kennedy can't score, I would, I'd believe it. But you're telling me Gibson can't score from second? That is horse poop. Okay, first and third. Nobody out, so we'll let Kennedy take a cut here. We're not going to hit and run. We're just going to let him swing. There we go, down the right field line into the corner. Can Wilson score from first? He does. A two RBI double for Kennedy. It's three to one. Kennedy gets his 12th double of the season. And there's still nobody out. Tigers opening up a can here on Chuck Rainey. And a wild pitch, moving Kennedy over. He needs to be closer to score from second, that's for sure. They're not pulling the infield in. So, um, he should score on a ground ball anywhere but third. There we go, ground ball to second. That'll get Kennedy in. And it's four to one. Detroit give up Trammell an RBI. Bases are empty with one down for Eddie Miller. Miller, 0-2 count. A ground ball to third. Roberts throws him out. Two down. And we're back to the top of the lineup again with Sweet Lou. Lou, one for seven in his career versus Rainey. And he dumps it off the wall in the left center field. Nope, left field, I should say. And that is the third Tigers double this inning. Whitaker's 12th double on the season. So the Tigers are getting all of it right now. 61 pitches for Rainey. Greg Brock up next. And he flips it to left for out number three. Tigers put four on the board. It's four to one as Jim Eisenreich will lead off the inning. It's, it's uh, Eisenreich, Renicky, and Engel. Hopefully that lead will give Morris a little bit more confidence here as Eisenreich flies out to right. He seemed to have righted the ship since the first. There's a ball that's going to fall in for a duck snort single into right center field. That's the first hit since the first inning. It's the one hit <laughs> since the one inning. Uh, okay, so let's see if we can turn two here. Catcher running. Now that's a pop-up. That should be an easy play for Trammell. It's so nice seeing all these 90s in the infield. I know that we still make our fair share of errors, but there is a little bit of a relief seeing uh, players in the uh, top 10% percentile. And then uh, Dave Roberts skies it on the infield. Tremble will catch it on the outfield grass for out number three. Moving right along to the top of the fifth. It's Brett Hatcher and Kirk Gibson do up. Okay, here's George Brett. Popping up an 0-2 count. He's just protecting the plate there. As Roberts makes the catch. One out. Mickey Hatcher up. He's one for two on the day. The base hit up the middle. Here he pounds it into the dirt. Easy ground ball for the second baseman. Siebert, two outs. And now Gibby gets a shot. He sends it to center field on a line. And Norwood makes the catch. We're going to the bottom of the fifth inning. Bottom third of the lineup with Mike Anderson leading off Mr. Anderson. Striking out, three Ks for Morris. That means there'll be a walk coming up next, I have a feeling. Willie Norwood, 1-0 count. Frozen rope to center, 358 feet. Miller tracking it down. Two outs, here is Mike Fishlin, number nine hitter. 
flipping it out to right field, and it falls in and for a base hit. So two of the three hits by the Twins have just been little duck snorts. A couple bloopers. They're down three runs. I don't think Fishlin will be running here. There's Kurt Siebert. Sharply hit ground ball to Trammell. And there's out number three. We are going to the sixth inning. Let's take a look at the in-game stats. Kennedy one for one with a walk and two RBI. Um, that And the one hit was a double. So he might be player of the game material at this point. All right, here is Glenn Wilson leading off. Kennedy be up next. Wilson sends it to the left. One down. Here's Terry Kennedy having a pretty good ball game. Oh, popping it straight up at home plate. Oh, I guess it's going to blow out <laughs> third base. It looked like it was a pop-up straight up, but it just kept going. Two down. Here's Alan Trammell. And Trammell almost gets it through the left side. Nice play by the shortstop Fishlin. We're going to the bottom of the sixth inning. Morris is at 74 pitches. He's got to face these two lefties here. Including Hoskin Powell, who might be the best pure hitter on the team. Ground ball to third. There's out number one. It's Brett makes an easy play. Up next is Jim Eisenreich. Eisenreich, ground ball to third. Brett's getting all the ground balls over there. Two outs. Here's Gary Renicky. Renicky, one for two today and four for eight with a home run and four walks against Morris. There's the, there's the third walk. He knew that had to be coming sooner or later. So runner on first with two down. Dave Engel up next. We're going to play straight away. Ground ball to Brock at first. And there's out number three. We're going to the top of the seventh. Randy's still in there. I mean, he's only had that one bad inning, and otherwise he's been pretty damn good. He's sitting at 86 pitches. Eddie Miller leading off. He's 0 for 2 today. Striking out. Swinging. He took eight pitches in that bat, though, so good job by him. Productive out. One down here. Sweet Lou back to the top of the lineup. Lou rips it right at the second baseman, though, for out number two. And that will bring up Greg Brock. He's 1 for 2 with a walk today. And a ground ball to second. So, another one, two, three, and it go to the bottom of the seventh inning. Bunch of righties due up. We're going to let Morris pitch another inning here. Then I'll be, I'll be satisfied if he can get through this. Roberts off the end of the bat. Sends it to center field for out number one. Mike Anderson, 0 for 2, 2 Ks today. No hits on the year versus right-handers. That'll keep you from the lineup. Wow, that is straight up. Come on. This is a 50-50 error right here. Oh, it's going to be caught by Kennedy for out number two. That will bring up Willie Norwood. And Norwood flips it to center field. Great job by Morris today. That'll probably be it for him. We'll bring in our setup man uh, in the eighth inning. Okay, here is George Brett leading off the top of the eighth. Brett 0 for 3 today. He's been quiet. Popping it up. Come on. A lot of pop-ups today. Here in the Dome. Brett 0 for 4. That'll bring up Mickey Hatcher. He's got one hit today. 1 for 3. Fly ball to right center field. You got to give it to Chuck Rainey. I mean, just that one big fourth inning. Otherwise, he's shut the Tigers down. Striking out Gibby. We're going to the bottom of the eighth inning. I want Morris to get Fishlin. And then we'll bring in a left-hander. 
uh, Rucker for these next three. We're going to pull the outfield in. Here we go. Mike Fishlin leading off. Ground ball to second. Yes. Okay. 100 pitches for Morris. Here's Dave Rucker coming into the ball game. Putting up some great numbers. He had his 11th save um, in yes, no, two days ago. He had actually had two saves in the Kansas City series. So good job by Rucker this year. He goes to arbitration next year. So we'll have some more decisions to make. Okay, one down here in the bottom of the eighth inning. Kurt Siebert up. Hasn't faced left-handers too much this year. Striking them out. Good job by Rucker. And here's Hoskin Powell with two outs. And Rucker strikes him out too. Come on. Can't get any better than that. We are going to the ninth inning. Chuck Rainey still in the ball game. It's Wilson, Kennedy, and Trammell due up. Wilson taps it right back to Rainey. One out. That'll bring up Terry Kennedy. He had that two RBI double earlier. Flipping it to right. Tigers have only had six hits today. And those three walks that Rainey threw were all early in the ball game. So just a great job by Rainey. Oh, up until now as Trammell is going to double into left center field. Do we want to go for three? Yes, we do. We have a three-run lead, and it's two outs. You don't want the third out at third, but let's give Trammell that shot. He is safe at third. Good job by Trammell. Nice hustle. That is Trammell's fourth triple of the season. Let's get an insurance run here. Eddie Miller who is 0 for 3 today with a strikeout. He's been doing so well. But today, just not his day. He pops out to second, and that will do it. So a, a complete game for Rainey, despite those four runs in the fourth. We will let Rucker pitch to Eisenreich, and then we'll bring in Weaver, who has struggled recently, to close this ball game out. Here we go. Our defense is good. Here's Jim Eisenreich against Rucker. 0-1 count. And he pops it up. Trammell should have this one easily. There we go. Out number one. Let's bring in Roger Weaver. Take a just quick look at his log. Yeah, he's given up three runs in his last three games. Uh, in fact, we won this game against Kansas City, but he did not help out our cause. That was the game that you just saw that... Um, Rucker got the save in. We had to bring him in to close it out. So let's see if Weaver can get things corrected here against Gary Renicky. Renicky one for two with a walk. Weaver strikes him out. And we're down to our final out. It is Dave Engel who's 0 for 2 in his career versus Roger Weaver. And into the dirt. Oh, come on. Of course. A two base error on Kennedy. Runner in scoring position. It can never be easy. We're going to pull the outfield in. As Dave Roberts steps up. This is definitely going to be a hit. Oh, it's going to be a walk. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Pull the outfield in again. Full count. And he walks in, too. Oh, it's the ball game. <laughs> he strikes him out on the corner. Look at that pitch. It's right there. That does not look like a strike. Tigers win. Handshakes, butt slaps, slappy stakes. Another victory. We are 9-4 and four in the month. Uh, we started 0-2. We'll take all the victories we can get, and we did not gain another game. As the Yankees won, they are 91-57. and 57. Pretty solid. Tigers, four back. Boston now five and a half back. Toronto's won six in a row. Good job by them. I wonder who they're playing right now. Um, and they just jumbled their lineup. Like almost half the 
uh, lineup is um, new players. Okay, California half game up on Seattle. They both lose. Oakland gains another game, and they're one and a half back. That is going to be an interesting uh, final two weeks. New York jumps back in front of Montreal, and Cincinnati jumps ahead of Atlanta. So, uh, and Los Angeles a half game back. So, yeah, it's going to come right down to the end. Let's take a look at the headline news. Brainiac Baseball Daily Beat Slot gets four RBIs. Um, what do you do here? Two for three. Two walks, a double, and a home run. Willie Akins had three walks. Who would they play? Cleveland. Okay. Uh, Tim Ireland got into the ball game. went one for four. And Butch Davis had a run and two ribbies. And that's it. Nothing else as far as that goes. Let's take a look at transactions. Uh, okay, a few things here. Uh, Atlanta signs their ace, Joe Cowley, um, for three more seasons at 650000 Pretty solid 12-9 and nine season for the Braves. And then Barry Bunnell, former Detroit Tiger, uh, is going to miss four months, so he'll be back in time for spring training for Atlanta. Steve Engel is going to miss the start. Max Venable will be out for five days. Okay, let's pull up the box score and get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. Season's coming to a close. We're two weeks away. We've got uh, the first Detroit Lions game tomorrow that I've ever played. It's going to be very interesting <laughs> to see how we do. Oh, man. Um, four extra base hits for the Tigers today. We're going to go ahead and give... Uh, Terry Kennedy, the player of the game. He had the uh, two RBI double. He also walked. That error didn't cost us, but it could have. Jack Morris gets the win. He had a career high, 17th victory. Good job by him. Bullpen does their gerbs. Um, Chuck Rainey, hard luck loser, goes to 11 and 16 on the season. All right, if you want to get in on the Detroit Lions contest, it's a last chance it's right here. Click that box, watch the video, tell you what to do and what the prize is. You get to see it with your own eyeballs. And we'll come back tomorrow with the first uh, 1980 Detroit Lions alternate history game, week one, against the Chicago Bears. Until then, everyone, have a great day.